Hello and welcome. Today we're going to discuss whether the earth is spherical or it is flat. According to my own research, the world is spherical and the earth is flat. I know I have confused many, but it is both. The earth is both round and flat, and I'm going to demonstrate it to you. First, you have to know which earth you're talking about. To add, the Bible talks of a flat earth, and scientists talk us of a spherical earth. But I have to tell you, they are both one and the same, both flat, both round. Just depends on what you are talking about. I'm going to draw for you the flat earth and the spherical earth, and how the sun, according to the Bible, moves on the earth, and how, according to science, the earth revolves around the sun. They will both make sense by the end of the video. For flat earthers, the earth seems to have looked to be looking some way, something like this, whereby we have the firmament, and here we will have water. Then they mostly assume that this whole thing is the earth, whereby I will tell you it is right. They are right. Here we will have the moon, the sun, and the stars, meteorites, everything. That's their definition of flat earth. But this, they will say, it is the earth. But today I have to correct you somehow. This, it is, yes, the earth. But to science, this is what is known as the universe. Now, when you go, according to the Chinese, and uh, some scientists, the universe or the earth, it is a silver river, whereby you will see them drawing it somehow like this. Okay, now let us show you how the science interacts with both the spherical and the flat earth. You will have to bear with me. My English is not that perfect, but I hope by the end of it, you will understand. Before we proceed, we'll have to talk about the Milky Way or the Silver River. It looks something like this. Then, how and where is the dome or the firmament? It is on this curvature whereby this place, which I have not drawn anything, whereby you will find the dome. The earth that mostly scientists talk about, the spherical earth, you can find it somewhere here. Here. The universe is so big that Nobody knows what it is in full, but we can know where we live. Now the earth is the universe. It is drawn in such a manner, and it is flat. And the sun, whereby mostly it is depicted, it comes in such a manner, 
all year, but it is not in such a manner. Yes, the sun moves, the moon moves, but we all move. And as we go on with the lectures, we are going to find out so many mysterious things that we do not know about the sun and the moon and the stars and what we know as the scientific earth, the spherical one, together with the planets, whereby you will find them in such a place right here, whereby mostly think that's our universe. But our universe is the whole thing, which is known as the earth. Now, here is a sketch. I am not a good drawer, but I hope you will understand. Here is the sun. It is above the waters in the Bible. But here is our scientific earth, which is spherical. And scientists are right. It is spherical. And it rotates around its own axis and revolves around the sun, whereby it goes like this. Here you will find Venus, which also goes in the same direction. And here you will find Mars, still going the same direction, whereby it has to complete its own revolution. Then here we have Jupiter, which also will go the same, same way and other planets. But you have to know, in, in the Silver River, like I showed you, this whole thing, which is inside here, it is not, does not occupy this whole structure, which we call the Silver River or the universe. I told you it is just a small portion. And this whole thing that is inside here revol also revolves as it goes by. It revolves, it travels. That's what I mean. It travels. Now, both the Bible and the science correlate. The earth is now flat. And the earth, which is this, the scientific earth, which is also known as the planet key. Key. They are both spherical and flat. Because of here, this thing that I've made, it looks like this when you're inside it. So, for those who have been fighting over, the earth is flat, the earth is round. Now you know. Now, you know. Another question that might pop up is, are these planets inside a water base? Yes, they are. And they are bubbles. It is like a balloon inserted inside water with air inside them. Now, the shell of the, the balloon, it is what we know as the atmosphere. When you look outside, the blue structure that you see that we call the sky, is not actually the sky of the Bible. The sky of the Bible is here. This is the atmosphere. That's why you see it is bluish, like water, which is in, in fact water. Because up here, this balloon is inserted inside water. And also, <laughs> up here, there is also water. Whereby here, this whole structure on the corners and on up is water in the Silver River. Thank you. Now. Let us proceed to how the spherical earth looks at looks like in the next video.